Cheapin' again a jingle ride and clippity clop atop a single saddle. Women they try to tempt me, but the minute the pantry's empty, I skedaddle. Single saddle. At one time, you used to have to pay a toll to go across the Cancel Causeway to go to Cape Breton. Now, I'm pretty sure that you had paid to get off the island, not to get on it. This is footage from 1960. And now we're in 2015. That's 55 years. A little bit of difference. I'm a touch older. And uh, my transportation is just a little bit different as well. I recently started transferring some old 8mm silent movie film into the digital realm. Basically that means you've got to project the film onto a screen and videotape it with your newest camera. Anyway, there was a clip from uh, us taking a camping trip around Cape Breton back in 1960 and I thought it might be kind of neat to throw a few clips in uh, close to what the trail looks now and it uh, also sort of maybe revisit some of my own footage from the Cabot Trail and I really think I shouldn't have sped it up so much the last time I posted it so so here's a little bit of a revisit In 1960, the Cabot Trail was pretty well all dirt. It was just under construction. And there was a limited number of guardrails installed at that time. Lots of heavy equipment was working on the road, so it was a little slow at times traveling. And there's a long drop off there. Certainly are a lot of curves, some nice switchbacks. You know, it's pretty good places for, for riding. And the views are just spectacular. And here in 2015, we're seeing motorcycles on the road. I don't think we saw a single bike in 1960. Not that I was actually looking for them then as a kid, but oh. And this guy is really, really sloppy. I'm glad those bikes weren't coming around that corner when he did that. Halfway around the trail, one of your best bets for stop to eat is going to be the Rusty Anchor. Lots of local fish products and decent food. Uh, I got off the bike. I'm back now on the bike. Looks like it was only an instant, but I was there about 45 minutes. And on this trip, I had fish cakes and baked beans and coffee. It was great.
Of course, the cars looked a little bit different back then. This is well out of the park, but it's still on the Cabot Trail. This is around Cape Smoky. Still one of my favorite parts of the ride. In the background is Brian Hyland's 1960 hit, Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. Anyway, there is my revisit to going around the Cabot Trail both in 2015 and in 1960. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and hopefully you'll uh, check out a few of my other videos. Thanks. Single saddle, single saddle.